Problem number two, uh, the first thing I want to do is I want to go ahead and factor out a 2 from the 2x plus pi over 2. And if you think uh, cosine of 2x plus pi over 2 can be written as 2x plus 2 pi over 4. And that helps us to know, all right, if I'm going to factor out a 2 from both of these terms, factoring out a 2 from 2x, I'm left with x. Factoring out a 2 from 2 pi over 4, I'm left with just pi over 4. So that's one of those sticking points. So now that I have that, I realize that uh, I've got an a. Uh, a is 1, and uh, because that's the number in front of the cosine, so it's 1 times that. The b is, uh, is 2, and so that's what we're going to use to find our period. So we're going to plot the period. And first thing, I want to look, and then I'm going to notice that this is going to be a, uh, a shift. The phase shift is going to be to the left, uh, so I want to leave a little space to the left of my y-axis, so I want to make sure I do that. And uh, plotting the period, I know that 2 pi over b, like I said, b is equal to 2, so therefore 2 pi over b is 2 pi over 2, which is pi. So now that I know what the period is, I'm going to go ahead and plot it, and that's what I mean by plot it. You just put a little tick mark towards the end of your graph, and uh, towards the end of the x-axis that you drew and m call that pi and then divide the period into four sections means we cut that in half. Half of pi is pi over 2. Half of pi over 2 is pi over 4. And then knowing uh, that from the 0 to the first tick mark is pi over 4 radians, that means that from any tick mark to the next is pi over 4 radians. So I can just count pi over 4s. 1 pi over 4, 2 pi over 4, and then to find that, that uh, radian measure of that spot right there in between, in between the pi over 2 and the pi, just like I said, count by pi over 4s. 1, 2, 3 pi over 4, and that's going to be that one. I know I'm going to shift to the left pi over 4 radians, so I could even label this one here is negative pi over 4. So from 0 to the first tick mark to the left is negative pi over 4. So that's the dividing the period into four sections. I didn't need to do this part yet, but I'm just kind of looking in advance here. Plot the amplitude. The amplitude is the absolute value of A, and A happens to be 1. So the absolute value of A being the absolute value of 1, which is 1, that's our amplitude, and that's how high up we go, and then how far down we go as well. So up here it's positive 1, down there it's negative 1. And then draw the graph without the phase shift, meaning I'm drawing the graph of, of y equals cosine. So this one would be y equals the cosine of 2x. Well, bottom line is our five key points on the graph of the cosine would be uh, right here, there, down here, and then back up. So we're going to draw the graph using a dashed line. That was horrible. Make sure you draw it like a sine curve. Now why does it look like that? Well, if you don't know why it looks like that, then what you want to do is you want to make an xy chart for the graph without the phase shift y equals cosine 2x. You, you plot your first point here, which is the beginning of your period, 0 to pi. The beginning of the period is 0, so you plug a 0 in for x. The cosine of 0 is 1. So therefore, 0, 1 is on the graph of the function. And then if you, if you want to find this value here, you plug in pi over 4. You plug in the next x coordinate in for x. And the cosine of 2 pi over 4 is the cosine of pi over 2, which is 0. And if you continue to plot these points, continue to plug in the successive values along the x-axis for x, plug in pi over 2, you get negative 1, plug in 3 pi over 4. I'll let you do that if you want to confirm. But the points are always going to be, uh, for cosine, it's always going to start on top if a is positive, on the bottom if a is negative. And then when you're here, you go down to the next x value and you go to the next to the next y coordinate. If it starts up here at 1, the next one's going to be 0, negative 1, 0, and back to 1. All right? So then we can go on and on with that. 
<clears throat> now we want to apply the phase shift and the phase shift is that value right there tells us we're going to go left pi over 4 radians. If we go left pi over 4 radians it means that every one of these five points is going to move to the left pi over 4 radians. So this point here which is at 0 moves to the left pi over 4. This point here which has an x-coordinate of pi over 4 goes to the left pi over 4 and so on and so on. You just move one tick mark to the left. One tick mark to the left, one tick mark to the left. I'm tired of saying tick marks now. Now, the graph has to look the same, so now you're going to draw it solid because we don't have any more transformations. We have a horizontal transformation. We don't have a vertical transformation. That's it. Now, you got to keep in mind, this graph does go on forever, but I'm only requiring that you draw the graph over one period. But don't think that it stops. Hopefully you understand. It doesn't stop right there. It keeps going. And we could keep going if we wanted to, but maybe if I draw little arrows like this, it'll remind you that it does keep going. And really all we need is the graph over one period, and we're done.